David, our Inclusion Officer from the GSM Finance Society. Uh, we'll both be reporting on the um, weekly market update. David. Um, hi, um, the Bank of England announced that it would maintain its record low interest rate until unemployment drops to 7%. This shows that they're trying to, they're hopefully trying to encourage investment to pe for people, um, encourage consumer spending, hopefully, which would result in more jobs, more yeah. jobs being spun out in the economy. As you know, youth unemployment in the UK is at a record high. Um, how do you feel about that? Yeah, it's um, daunting actually for me wanting to graduate, well, graduating very soon in September. Mm -hmm. So um, it's definitely um, sort of good to know, it's good news to know that um, government this is, that the, mm -hmm. the government cares and it's doing something to try and make us incentivize companies to bring people back into um, the job market and obviously this will probably help them mm. like investment and things mm, like that as well. Um, and the U US trade deficit hit a three, three and a half year low in the second quarter, which is for a lot of people was very shocking um, maybe two, three years ago to believe that it will be reducing at this rate. Because, but it's, I think the main the main points were it's like they've tried to keep trade within their own country. They yeah. they've cut off. They, I've heard they've going to be they're going to be all efficient, um, completely all sufficient on their own okay. reserves in a couple of years. So that's wow. really good news. Yeah, mm. um, I know. Like they've been really worried about the trade deficit because they've been having a lot more um, imports into the country than the mm. exports. So this will definitely improve their is showing improvement in their balance um, payments. Mm. So that's great news for the US. Um, yeah. yeah. Um, the UK services, um, UK services activity grew at its fastest pace in seven years in July. Well, um, that's obviously going good news because the UK specialises in the services industry and it's, it's renowned for its financial services, which shows that we still are, we still are well, we're still well known to do, the, do it the best in the world, which is obviously good news as we try and get out of this, this slump that the economy is in. Um, the next news is um, the EU narrowly avoided a trade trading war with, the, with China after oh, wow. a dispute regarding dumping of solar panels. Mm -hmm. Obviously dumping is when um, companies purposely undercut, um, companies in, in foreign countries purposely undercut um, domestic, domestic, domestic firms. So China have been doing that to the solar, the solar panel industry in the whole of Europe and including the US as well. Mm -hmm. So this is obviously a big deal because it's destroying trade within, within yeah, the EU. Yeah. So, um, it's really good news that it hasn't broken out into a big war. Yeah. So I don't know how you feel about that. How you feel about that? Um, yeah, I mean that's good. Like, yeah, we don't want any more wars. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, um, okay. yeah, the, IM, um, the IMF has warned that Greece may need a 10.9 billion loan in addition to the 240 billion received in the bailout loan since 2010. I mean, Greece just. It's just indefinitely seems to be needing yeah. more more loans and um, hopefully this comes like a good arrangement and this doesn't have effect on like the stock market and things like that because of like investors and traders and mm. things like that. Hopefully it doesn't affect that too much like with trade. But um, yeah, I mean, Greece, come on, improve. <laughs> yeah. Tayo, who's going to cover the rest of the markets news. Okay, so um, last week we saw Amazon, the founder, and um, Jeff Bezos um, bought the family-owned Washington Post newspaper for $250 million, um, a sum making up only 1% of Bezos' wow. personal wealth. How amazing is that? I mean, a lot of people are saying, like, with Amazon being such a big company, um, is this going to have some effect on them being like a monopoly mm -hmm. and things like that now um, sort of taking over into media as well? There's sort of some controversies over that, but I mean, it's a great thing that he's able to sort of bail them out and the company is still going on because Washington Post is sort of like a renowned mm. um, company in the US. And um, again, 65.1% of American homes are under ownership. The lowest home ownership rate in 16 years as rentals become more popular in the US. I mean, wow. before the recession, it's been like a lot of people buying homes, homes like, buying homes and mortgages and everything, but now yeah, people yeah. are actually thinking, no, like it's better off to rent. Um, obviously this might have an effect on the housing market um, with like reduction in um, home sales, but at the same time, it's good to see that we're not gonna go back to where we were before with the recession. Next up is the Chinese imports. They grew faster than expected in July. Um, moving on from that, the UK industrial 
um, production rose at its fastest pace in two years in June. Um, do you have anything to say about um, that? Yeah, that's that's really good news in terms of in terms of in terms of job growth um, per se, because UK obviously doesn't really focus on the goods um, goods market like making. And, um, making producing goods like that, they don't really focus on that, which is really good. So that that can help a lot of um more like um, low paid jobs increase increase the market for low paid jobs per se, um, which is really good news. And that's the end of our market update. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you very much for viewing. Um, you guys can check us on Facebook, Twitter, go on GSM Finance Society, .co .uk to check on new events and stuff. Yeah, bye guys. Thanks.